For 25 years, we've been expanding the possibilities of storage so that companies can create game-changing products. To find out more about how you can be ready for the future, visit sandisk.com business. Welcome to Engineering Update. I'm Melissa Barnes, Associate Editor of ECN. In this week's headlines, manipulating objects remotely with informed 3D display, Spark Reynolds debuts the Formula E car, and the 18-rotor electric volocopter. E-Volo's Volocopter resembles a quadcopter with 18 rotors. The Volocopter uses six battery blocks to power the rotor drives for up to 20 minutes of emission-free flight time. For the future version, the team is planning on a cruising speed of at least 54 knots and a flight altitude of 6,500 feet. Each of the Volocopter's six arms is powered by three batteries for safety precautions in case one or more of the batteries were to go out. There is also a ballistic separation system for additional safety, which deploys a parachute. The Volocopter also makes use of onboard computer sensors that take over the role of partial autopilot, making the copter easy to fly. The copter's 20 independent computers could theoretically fly the system entirely solo. MIT's Tangible Media Group has developed an exciting technology called the Inform Dynamic Shape Display, which allows users to virtually reach through a display screen and manipulate physical objects that may be thousands of miles away. A Kinect sensor and projector extracts 3D input through analyzing the user's hand movements. A 30 by 30 grid of 1 cm square motorized polystyrene pins makes up the 3D display unit. Each pin's height is controlled by a linked linear motor controller, while a linear potentiometer senses the position. The pins can also deliver haptic feedback to a user, making it possible to display a mapped area where the height of a pin corresponds to the current population density of that position. The pin can be moved from its position proportional to the rate of population density. The all-electric formula racer by Spark Renault will soon begin racing in 2014. In last-minute testing, the SRT-01E is powered by a 50-kilowatt electric motor, but the future model will be equipped with a 200-kilowatt, 270-horsepower motor. Formula One driver Lucas Degrassi took the Formula E car on a spin around the track for 40 laps recently just outside of Paris. Other teams, such as the McLaren, are also working on their own e-racers in preparation for the upcoming season. Spark Reynolds Formula E will debut against 19 other teams when the season starts up in Beijing next September. That wraps up this week's report. Be sure to join the conversation on Facebook, Twitter, and LinkedIn, or email me your story ideas. I'm Melissa Barnes, and this has been your Engineering Update.